What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. We are going to unlock blood on Metal Slug. I don't understand how it's not there by default, but I'm gonna show you how it's done. Boom shakalaka! So after some research, I didn't even know this was possible, but apparently on Metal Slug, there is the option for blood. Um, I've never seen it with blood. I mean, I've played the actual arc, like in the arcade, I've played the Neo Geo cabinets, I've never seen it with blood. But apparently there is a way to get into the settings to enable blood mode. Also, I'm gonna show you guys another thing that does happen on the Pi. When I play Metal Slug, it is kind of bouncy, meaning it's not fluid. So I'm also gonna show you guys how to overclock, basically to make Metal Slug run smooth. So first thing real quick, keep in mind Metal Slug can be run off of MAME or MAM or Final Burn Alpha. Depending on your image right now, we are using a Pi, so I'll show you how to do it on the Pi. This will also work for the PC MAME emulator, which I first discovered it on that. Now I'm working on the Pi and it does work on the Pi. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up the game. Before that, I'm gonna go into the configuration settings and I'm gonna bring you guys in closer because we have to first figure out what emulator we are using. All right guys, so here I am. I just went into the configuration settings before the game boots, and I'm basically gonna go to first, well, I don't have to go to it, I could just easily see it. The selected emulator for this ROM is Final Burn Alpha. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in Final Burn Alpha. Whenever you're, you're if you're in MAME or any type of MAME, it's very easy, you just press tab on the um, keyboard. But at least for this one, I'm gonna show you how to do it on Final Burn Alpha. What I wanna do first is I'm gonna real quick actually load the game and show you before we change it and then after we change it. So right now I have the game set for regular standard not change settings. So let's just load up the game real quick. I'm gonna do two players, I could do it with one hand. Just to show you the slowdown and again at least the blood on this. So again, take a look at the characters as you can see. There is no blood, there is no sign of red. Again, you can literally see they just kind of shoot out like whiteness. You kind of see the lag when you get into the helicopter mode. And this kind of scene, you kind of see the slowdown on it. Here we go, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to get my character back. So I got both of them up. So you could definitely see the helicopter kind of slows down a little bit. There's a slowdown I'm looking for. You can see it right now, it's literally slowing down. So let me show you guys what we're gonna do. All right guys, so now that ended, I will show you basically what needs to be done. Um, doing some research. On Final Burn Alpha, all you have to do is you have to hold down player one start. Once you hold it down, you do get into this screen here. We're gonna look for, first we're gonna do the blood. We're gonna set up the blood. So once you hold down player one start, you're gonna get this. We're gonna go to setting up soft dip. You're gonna press, I believe, button D, which on a regular arcade control panel is button six. We're gonna go to slot one. You're gonna come all the way down here to blood. Press button six again, and now it's on. We're gonna bring it back by pressing button one. Bring it back, button one, and exit, and select. Now, blood mode has been enabled. Let's put some coins in, and you will see it. Next, we're gonna do the overclocking. Take a look real quick at how, there it is. There it is. Again, I would never know that this is a thing, but apparently, it is. There you have it. Next up we're gonna do the overclocking, making the game run a little bit smoother. Again, we are on a Raspberry Pi right now. So um, before anything, you could actually go in the beginning and go to RetroArc to first see what your setting is. Basically, when you first load up RetroArc, you're gonna see this. I have the game in the background, but you don't have to have the game on. You're gonna go into settings, you're gonna go into input, and you're gonna go into hockey. The first thing really you wanna look for right now is to see the menu toggle 
what is the button or the key. My button is button one, but that's how I have it set up. You don't have it like that. You wanna check out what is your menu toggle, and you also wanna find out what is your enable hotkey. So mine, again, I'm using an arcade pa control panel with a Zinmo. I need to hold down button nine and button one to bring up RetroArch's menu. You have to do this in the game. That's what I learned, you have to do it in the game. So first thing you do that is figure out what is your button combination, right? Then you're gonna go into the game. Once you're actually in the game, you're gonna do your hotkey and whatever the key was for your menu. When you first do it the first time, it's gonna be under quick menu. It's gonna really look like this when you first do it. That is a good sign if you get this. We're gonna go real quick basically into options. And we're gonna to go to CPU overclock. You could go back, it'll go to 200. 200 is the max. This right now is done. You're gonna go back. You're gonna go back. You're gonna go into configurations and you're gonna do save current config. You have to do this for each individual metal slug. So right now I'm gonna drop down the menu so I'm holding down the hotkey and I'm pressing my menu button. And now basically, if I didn't die, we have no lag on metal slug. Right now we have zero lag on metal slug. So again, you definitely could see it. I'm very surprised that it's not like this out of the box, but as you can see right now, look at this. This typically is a very like buggy kind of area. Look at this. Perfect and smooth. We're gonna exit out. We're gonna do Metal Slug 2 just to do it again. So again, you could load up. I know mine is Final Burn Alpha. Let the game load. First thing we do is the blood mode. Hold down player one. Brings up the dips. Set up soft dip. Slot one. We're gonna go to blood. My blood was already on, meaning I already did this. And we are good to go. We're gonna go back, we're gonna go back. We're gonna exit. Now I'm also gonna bring up my menu for retro arc. Retro arc menu. We're gonna go down to options. We're gonna go down to CPU overclock. I already had it set. My game right now is done. Same thing. I'm good with this. I'm gonna pull the camera back to show you the control panel, but real quick. As you can see, blood mode is enabled. Exit. So I'll show you guys with my control panel. I'm gonna to go to Metal Slug 3. We're gonna load it up. Again, you could go into the configuration, but I know I have Final Burn Alpha set to this. You let the game load. Let's do the blood one first. Again, let it load. Good. We hold down player one start. Good. I'm gonna go into soft dip. And blood on, good. So this number three, it's kind of down there, but we got it. We're gonna exit, we're gonna exit, exit. Next, I'm gonna do the overclock. My uh, hotkey button is mode and button two. I'm gonna go down into options. I'm gonna go into core overclock. It's actually set, done. This right now, I'm gonna go back, exit out of the menu, so I'm not gonna quit. If I do quit, it leaves the screen. I'm gonna go back, and now, let's make sure the blood is on. Again, I'm surprised it doesn't, it's not set to that. Somebody did mention it, like I did see it somewhere, but I never saw a video on how to do it, and at least now, you guys can literally see how it's done. Look at the blood on the crabs. <laughs> the blood on the crabs are green. We exit out. I got one more Metal Slug, actually three of them. Let's load up Metal Slug 4. The rest you could get, but again, this is running Final Burn Alpha. Uh, if you do MAM, MAME or MAM, you just press Tab, and it's literally almost exactly the same. You're gonna look for dip switches on MAME and set it up like that. Holding down button one, I'm gonna go to Soft Dip, Metal Slug 4, and Blood On. I'm gonna have to do that for all my customers now to make sure this is on. Mode, 
Hotkey, I should say, button one. That's for mine. Options, let's see if it's set. It might be permanently set to 200. Yes, mine is set. This is done. So I'll never have to do the um, CPU overclock. But now thinking of it like that, this might have actually done it um, for all of Final Burn Alpha. The CPU overclock might be there. So again, loading up the next one. Gotta let the screen load up. Again, I'm being repetitive. A lot of people notice that I do repeat a lot, but I figure while you're watching this, you're gonna see it, you know, you're literally doing it live with yourself. So why not? Holding it down, metal slug five, blood on. Good, 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 exit. That's it, done. I don't have to worry about it. I'll know that it's perfectly set. Do one more test just to be safe. I've never played this. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. Like I said, you can literally see the smoothness of this. Yes, blood mode is on. No, no, no. Oh, I fell in the water. <laughs> uh, let's just check one more time of the overclock. Let's see how that is. Oops. On screen overlay. You could disable that. It's 200. Mine is, mine is permanently set now for a final burn alpha. Last one. I'm literally going to have to do that, but. I'll either do that or send it to my customers, but at least you guys could see it. VicVP Game Case Arcades. We learn something new every day.